Hey, everyone, welcome back to episode two or six of, <laughs> of Fable. Don't know. It's kind of like the Final Fantasy series. Right, yeah. yeah. It might be four, five, or six, but... It might be 13.2, I don't it know. It might be 13.2 or three. Uh, okay, so yeah. we, we beat the Hobbs. We're going to go back to the guild now, I think, and do some... The, the start of this game is just a lot of, like, side I think quests. what you should do is go back to town and confirm the things that you're doing, because I think we've gotten confused about what we're supposed to be doing. I think I think <laughs> that's not entirely incorrect, <laughs> so... <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Someone somewhere will be able to tell you what we're supposed to be doing. Well, I think it's the dude at the guild with, like, the, the, the quest yeah. master man or whatever. It works in real life, too. If you walk around long enough and keep asking everyone... Someone well, will tell you what to do. This one's do. this one's pretty bad. Fable Two has the fix where they have like that light trail. Oh yeah, right, that's the, right. the fairy yeah. trail, which sometimes gets like yeah. confused itself and puts into a dead end, and then turns around and you're like, "Why did you leave me here? What is this? I'm just gonna avoid conflict like I do in life." <laughs> Excuse me. Go away. Bye, Green Lantern. <laughs> but my ring. <laughs> <laughs> God, it, uh, it's a shame we've not gotten a good Green Lantern like movie because it has such potential. You know what makes me really sad is that we've never had a really good Fantastic Four movie. That is so, that's that's a universe I would really like to see well done, and I and you're like, I agree. You're, you're getting antsy over there, but there's a lot of material in that universe. The, the problem um, is you have to and, own and the campiness in you, a way. You have to own it, and, and they keep trying yeah. to not do that. You, you can't make it serious. It yeah. has to be stupid. It's stupid, and it needs to be stupid. Yeah. And I think if they um, went in sort of a gar Guardians of the Galaxy direction with it, that would be a fair choice. Well, I mean, they so in theory, Disney can. Uh. Oh no! So I do. I do have to go this way. God damn it! <laughs> okay. Um, no, but yeah, I think like Disney owns them now. So obviously the next thing in the MCU they're going to try to introduce, it has to be X-Men and Fantastic Four. Yeah. I, I, unpopular opinion, but I really actually kind of like those first X-Men movies. Oh no, they're great. Made. I mean, three is yeah. a little iffy, but. Three is, three is kind of in me. But I really, I really like the first one. Yeah. I mean, what happens yeah. when a toe gets struck by lightning? Come on. Yeah. Same thing that happens to everything else. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but like generally, yeah, they were yeah. good movies. Um, but. But that's how they should handle the Fantastic Four, um, only with a lot better um, graphics. Yeah, well, they're, so the, the current like fan abilities. casting for um, Sue Reed, or Sue Storm and Reed Richards is um, John was it Krasinski and Emily Blunt. Yeah, that could work. Because uh, they're, they're, they're actual husband and wife, and yeah. they're surprisingly, or I mean, he's a surprisingly good dramatic actor. Yeah, because I'm from the office. Have to be like a bit over the top. Yeah, but like I like um, like he was good in a quiet place, right? They both were. Yeah, that's true. That was really good. Um, which storyline do you think they should go with? Well, they've introduced the scrolls. Yeah. Right, that already exists in the MCU. I mean, obviously you have to do Doom first, right? You have to yeah. introduce Doctor Doom, which that's but, always hard. I mean, now they've already done that like what three times. I know. Yeah. Yeah. But we're we're over it. However, I'll, I'll argue though. Have they done it good once? <laughs> uh, no. So that's, that's the thing. Is like, like like Batman, you don't but, need to introduce his origins again in the movies because it's been but, done. But that's kind of where we're at with it. Yeah, though. I guess. Like, everyone See, I, gets it. We're like, yeah, Doctor Doom, we get it. I don't know. Have they ever done the 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 foreign country thing? He's always been like a businessman yeah, or like a they've, hacker. Yeah, they've always done like the weird, like the side, the side story kind of dealios. Because it was uh, like Lat Latvia? Lat Lat no, because Lat is Latveria. One of them's a real country. One of them's the made-up country. Lat Latvia is the real country. And it's Latveria is the. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, don't crossbow me in the face, crossbowman. Well, that's a, like I always love DC. Marvel for the most part sticks to like mostly real places with a few like made up stuff in the middle yeah um dc went on like the we're just making shit up train right away <laughs> and the amount of countries they have that are just other countries like there's bialya and karak which are just essentially iraq and iran <laughs> yeah and whenever they want to be like middle eastern country here Let's, we go well all you do is like take all of the names of those 
countries that you want to like that area imitate, yeah and then print them out cut them in half and throw them throw in a them hat together, yeah and then take the two halves and put them together and then now you have your new name yeah and then there's like there's uh santa prisca yeah. Cor- corte maltese which is essentially um morocco i think yeah um yeah no it's yeah no uh but I, what I think for the Fantastic Four would be great um, if they revisited like the Silver Surfer thing. I mean that the yeah. thing is, if the MCU is looking for the next big like arc, yeah, Galactus is kind of a good fan, like new Thanos, right? Yeah. Um, and I I could see them going that direction. It's very good. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. Um. Well, I just. Like, I think they did wrong by that franchise, and I think they should yeah. fix it. <laughs> the, the one thing that's disappointing is that they've already done Civil War, and the Fantastic Four yeah. was the most interesting part of Civil War to me, because they were... Oh, hold on. It'll cost you to get through. Do we bribe the, the bandit to let us through, or do we just... Or we can always use your head as an ornament. I'm wow, how'd you get so ugly? <laughs> I, it's been a hard life, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> What's how much does he charge again? I by the way, I have like three thousand gold from killing people. <laughs> okay, well, I guess bribery is always okay. good. Alright, bye. It, it's like um, you're just gonna go spend it on booze anyway. Yeah, so. you just you just deal with it. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably kill you guys later. Um, but no, like the Fantastic Four was always the interesting part of Civil War. One of the more interesting ones because the family gets split up. Yeah, it's. I want to say it's Reed and Johnny on one side choose Tony, and then I want to say Ben and Sue choose Cap. So you have that family dynamic that's like split. Yeah. On either side. Um. But I guess that's also the problem that MCU did, where Civil War was a movie. Right. Um. That could have been. Like probably a, at least a trilogy well it, it could have been like yeah. a, you know when they did the like the phases stuff that could yeah. have been a phase in itself yeah right yeah, yeah it's it kind of like, well we're revisiting harry potter because i had never read the books and um i had only seen the movies so my opinion on the harry potter movies is very different from how the books are oh yeah yeah um <laughs> but I think what they did to, um, like, Civil War is essentially what happened to the last, like, three Harry Potter oh, movies. Oh, they just, ab- they just abridged the yeah. shit out of them. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot more that goes on, and you actually realize that Voldemort's not a horrific fish man. Yes. So. Well, but, like, there's so many stuff that, that seems, like, irrelevant until it becomes relevant in the later stories. Like, the whole Dobby stuff yeah. goes nowhere for, like, five books. My my very, very first important. my very first ever um, experience with Harry Potter was sitting in a theater in whatever movie it is where Dobby dies. Oh yeah. And the lady like in the seat in front of me just started sobbing, and she was so sad. And I was like kind of happy because I thought that character was just annoying as fuck, and I was just happy to like not have to hear that voice anymore in the yeah. movie. <laughs> And but she was so sad about it, and I, I was like, "Why is she like so upset about this? This character has like no bearing on the storyline hey, whatsoever." Just kind of showed up and then it did just stuff. Showed yeah. up and then died, and it's like, um, now it now I kind of at least understand why she was sad. But you have to have read the book. Oh yeah, because even in the sense. in the movies, he shows up in the second movie, and then they don't use him again until he literally shows up in like the back ten minutes of right. Deathly Hallows Part One, and you're like, "Oh okay, I okay. guess this is a character." <laughs> This is a thing. Yeah. So, that, but that's the same as, um, the, like, Civil War thing. Yeah. You yeah. have to read all the stories. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's <laughs> the thing. Is like, like as a comic book fan, I'm used to storylines taking, like, months to develop and stuff. Oh, yeah, if not years. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I remember that the, the countdown to Infinite Crisis is, like, 300 issues. <laughs> At least. Yeah. I, well, yeah, I found um, one of the really helpful things online that I found is people, thank you, whoever you are, um, oh, yes. have compiled those lists of like the all reading. of the comics in order where the storylines like go together. Yeah. Um, 
So if you want like a certain character's story, you can just look it up by that character's name and then find out like all of the issues in all of the various comics where the story like flows. And without those people, we'd be so lost. <laughs> oh yeah, no, like yeah. like I um I recently wanted to reread the storyline of DC of Blackest Night, which was like yeah. the Black Lantern rings and all that stuff. And um I was like, why do I even start with this again? Like, right, and, and right. I, so and I looked it up and there was a list, and I was like, oh yeah, okay, here we go. Yeah, and there's some, like, weird side, like, there'll always be some weird, like, independent side story situation yeah. where it's like, oh, and there's, like, this little tidbit of information in this, and, like, stuff you would probably never hear about. Well, yeah, there's, there's I think yeah. it's, like, two or three issues of Teen Titans that has a huge tie into to Blackest Night, and that's it. And then yeah. it, it, I don't want to read all of Teen Titans right. just to get to that point. Exactly, yeah. But that compilation sort of list to tell you um, where to find the relevant yeah. stuff is so helpful. <laughs> oh, hold on. That's a mustache and a half. Sworn a traitor oath. We have to help him. <laughs> this isn't a good idea. Not a good idea at all. I can pay well, and there won't be any trouble. Do we let him follow us or no? I don't want him to follow us. No? Okay. I mean, I he seems annoying. Else will help me or I won't last the day. If I remember right, he does turn on to like a werewolf if we keep him. Really? Or a bell okay. ring or whatever they call it. I think it. I've never said yes to that. It's all, you've always been like, nah. <laughs> like no. <laughs> That's a no from me, dog. Yeah. No, just in my lifetime, like any dude following you is not cool. That's <laughs> very fair. <laughs> Can I follow you? No. <laughs> no, thank <laughs> you. Don't. Uh, probably going to call the police if you continue. So, yeah, we were, so we were hired. I just forgot to mention we got a quest card to uh, take these guys, these guys through the Darkwood marshes. So that's our quest is to keep these two idiots alive. It certainly is dark and it certainly is a wood. A lot of this first game is like pretty oh, there we go. generic. I don't want to say generic, but like, oh, we're doing this fantasy thing now. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Alright, bye. Stop looking at me like I have two heads. <laughs> oh, the, fo the follower icon. <laughs> I like how they're like, oh my god, it's a werewolf. I'm just like beating the shit, like just punching in the spine repeatedly. Uh, I saw one, you know, we see these every day here. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. So, dark woods, it's normal. There's one on every corner. Well, it reminds me of like in, I think it was the scary movie movies when they just beat the oh shit out god. of the killer and just like yeah. punch him. Alright, I think these are like... Magical? No, they, they'll explode and... So magical. I guess, yeah. I, th I think we fail the quest if these guys die, I want to say. Yes. Yes, you do. So don't let them walk on any of that. Yeah, 100%. Because they're idiots once again. Yep. Common video game type quest. Oh, yeah. Well, and like this really, like this is the remake, but it really shows that this was built for the original Xbox because all yeah. the areas are so small and you have to load between every single one of them. What do you think is the worst defender for that type of quest? Because I'm like leaning towards Resident the Evil. With Ashley? Yeah. <sighs> See, Ashley's not bad once you understand the. Um... Zelda is like a close second kind yeah. of scenario for me. I mean. Yeah. Can you not, fucker? <laughs> um. Ashley's not bad once you understand, like, at least Ashley as a, as an AI design listens to you. Like if you're like, yeah, if you're like, yeah. bitch, get in the dumpster, she gets in the dumpster and it's not yeah. like, mm, I'm going to follow you anyways, though. Yeah. Um, there's some games like, okay. Um, I can't think of an example right now, but there's some games where it's like, you gotta be stealthy with a follower and <laughs> so they'll just run around. I have a question about why you would put in one apple in a barrel. <laughs> it is, it is suspect. I'll give you that. Yeah. Sorry. Um, no, I, I can't remember what it is, but there was some game I'm thinking of where you have to like escort someone and be stealthy about it, but they'll run around like a fucking yeah, asshole. Yeah, and then they just run into like there's like I think there's like battle helicopters or something. Like there's like a total battleground scenario. Yeah. And then they just run into the middle of it. I yeah. can't think of what it is exactly, but I played 
that same situation too. And you're just uh, like, so you're I'll, I'll to... say, I think the reason people remember Ashley so badly is because she's just verbally annoying. Yeah. Leon, help! And you're like, yeah. uh, uh, not again. Um, whereas, yeah. like, you know, she's pretty easy to actually keep, especially on when you play the new game plus mode after you yeah. beat it. And this, like, the costumes number two, she's in a suit of armor and can't be picked up. Right. She's just too heavy yeah, and they, yeah. they fall down. Um. I, there's a there's a couple in Spyro that are pretty aggravating. I haven't played all of that, so yeah. there's a guy where he's got like a, a, um, a, a potion, like someone's legs is, they're stuck in concrete, and he's got like a potion to get rid of the, the concrete. In I don't know. Spyro, it's a whole thing. <laughs> okay. it, it's in like a Scottish thing where there's okay. stone golems and stuff. Gotcha. Anyways, because uh, I was thinking like New York Mafia, but I was like, no, no. okay, never mind. It's just like like his feet got turned to stone <laughs> oh, by a witch or something. Okay thing like that so he's trying to fix that guy and you have to he has to walk you just have to like walk with him as he goes to this region but he'll take the most back asward route possible and like walk into enemies and you have to kill all the enemies before they get oh him. no and so like and he'll be like he'll just have to walk 10 feet to his right but then he'll take a left go down a circle path and walk around and until you play it the first time you don't know which route he's gonna take Oh no and if he gets bumped into anything once he's just like oopsies I uh <laughs> Uh oh, spaghetti. I think if I remember right. Uh, how do I. Greatwood is just as weird. I don't think I could take much more of this. That's how I do it. I think if you shoot in here, you get a silver key. Hey. Wow. Nice. <laughs> Boom. But yeah, no, I mean, like, I think, generally speaking, I think everyone agrees that follower quests are just the worst. Yeah. There's one in, in Link Between Worlds, which is the Link to the Past sequel for the DS. Yeah. Where you have to... uh, I think that's maybe what I'm thinking of, like, the DS versions of that, where you have to babysit. There's, like, a woman you have to, like, get out yeah. of the thieves' den or something like that, yeah. and it's, it can be stressful. Yeah. Just aggravating in general. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, for sure. Um, well, because I think you have to babysit her, but also do the puzzles at yes, the same time. That's what I mean. And, and then and she like, sort of wanders away, and it's like... Oh, well, and like the puzzles spawn monsters, and I think yeah. if anyone touches her once, she gets like recaptured, and you have to break yeah. her out of the jail cell again. I think that's the thing that's triggering my memory. Yeah. Ooh, a steel axe. Wow. Is that better or worse than our katana? Let's go cut some trees down. <laughs> I'm going to chop... Uh, sir, we just want to get to our region. I got to chop all the trees down. <laughs> Yeah, so the katana does 32 damage and the axe is 37. Okay. Let's let's stick. By the way, we're badasses in the. Look how we wield this fucking axe. <laughs> Just one handed. Oh, yeah. uh, let's see if we can buy anything. Because I think there's. um. That's how you should carry anything. Just one handed? Like, <laughs> yeah. Let's see what the traders have here. Um. Nothing great. Mm, nothing we don't already have. Yeah. The armor system's weird in this one, too. Like, I think they got rid of it in Fable, and the other ones where the costumes are just purely cosmetic. Is there anyone selling a facial? <laughs> uh, in the Darkwood Marshes, I don't think so. Uh, mud, mud this mask. is to... Oh, this is the, the evil temple. The Chapel of Squirm, where we can sacrifice people if we want. We'll come back to this. Yeah. There might be someone we want to sacrifice later. All right. Well, I think it's like you if you sacrifice 10 people, you get a special bow, I want to say. Hmm. And then if you sacrifice, if you spend, I think, like 300 grand at the, at the Light Temple, you get a sword. Yeah, I think that's correct. Funny how one's like people and the other is money. money. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. The, and, the, and like the morally good one's like, pay us. <laughs> yeah. That can't be commentary about anything in particular. <laughs> nope. They do they, so in uh in this one you just like sacrifice a person and, and they die in in they, two it's like it's a, a game lot worse yeah. it's it's like there's a wheel yeah. that spins and it's like yeah. Ooh, which punishment are they gonna get and I think I think to get into the the dark temple you have to like eat like ten chickens yeah live yeah you yeah. actually have to become legitimately evil they're like you're not bad enough to to come yeah. in here yeah I found that like kind of strange I mean. It makes sense in this game, but it's like they definitely went a dark way. Well, this game has a weird Darker sense of way. humor. Like in some ways, it's it's 
very like tongue in cheek, childish humor, and then there's just yeah. some really dark jokes in it sometimes. Like in, in the second one, I think it's the second one, there's these two brothers that keep on fucking with the Necronomicon. <laughs> right. And they just keep raising shit from the dead. And then eventually, I think they sacrifice their mother. <laughs> Yeah. And then she's a ghost comes back and scolds them. So, uh, full metal alchemist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh god, that's such a dark. Not that one, but the, the little girl is the chimera. Oh my god. So fucking dark. Yeah. Ed, word. <laughs> oh, I, so I, uh, I'm trying to get my mom to watch anime. It's not going great. Okay. Um, I've been picking she movies. She kind of seems like, like, she would like certain ones. She, yeah. she's very hung up on the fact that it's animated. Yeah, um, my parents too. I was like, they actually really enjoy certain Disney movies. Mm -hmm. So I thought like, maybe they would like some of the other type of ones. Yeah, but as soon as it's animated, they're like, no, I'm not interested. <laughs> yeah. Um. Though actually. I think it's time for next time. We're at about 20 minutes here. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll talk more about me trying to get my mom to watch anime uh, next time. Bye, everyone.